Hi everyone, it's Chloe here from the Chloe Bruce Academy. So I've been paying attention to your recent comments and requests um, and the kind of videos that you want to see moving forward and one of the big ones that people have requested is tips and a tutorial on how to improve your front splits or forward splits. So without further ado, that is today's video, okay? How to improve your forward splits. So grab a mat if you have one and let's get started. Hi everyone, okay, so before we get into this video, I really need to make sure and express how important it is that you're deeply warmed up and stretched pre doing this video. So, that being said, and you're ready to move on, you can join me in this video. So we're gonna come onto this position, yeah? And then I'm using two blocks, which is just handy to get an extra bit of height through your forward splits. So I'm gonna place my hands onto the two blocks and you're just gonna rock back and tilt onto that back foot. See how that back foot's up? I'm just gonna sit here and just really open up through the front hamstring. Good. So make sure your back's nice and straight. We're gonna hold here. Good. And then from here, we're gonna do the opposite, coming forward, lean into that front knee, and then we're gonna drop as deep as we can through the center point here, really opening up the rec fem, the hip flexor here. Instead of doing what I'm doing here, leaning your body forward, you wanna keep your body nice and upright for this position, okay? So keeping upright here and really stretching deep into that hip flexor down into your thigh. Good, and hold. Perfect. And now we're gonna do the opposite again. So we're gonna rock back, tuck them toes under, and come to here. Good. If you haven't got foam blocks, guys, it really doesn't matter. You can just move them out of the way, and you can use your hands, okay, wherever you need them. It's just a bit easier to start off with the foam blocks, as it just keeps your body a bit higher so you can keep a natural spine. Good, and then again, moving through into that front position, bend the knee, and then go as deep as you can, try and go a bit deeper this time, right through the center point and opening up through the hip flexor and the thigh. Good, very good. And then we're gonna change sides, and do it all on the opposite side. So starting with that front leg straight, back foot up on the ball of the foot, and straighten the front leg, bring the blocks to where's better, better for you, and hold. Good, then we're gonna move into that forward position. Come up, straight through the body, move the legs to where you feel best stretch, and then come deep into that hip flexor through here. Keep a nice neutral spine, good, and hold.
Good. And then again, we're going to sit back. And here, really straighten out through that front leg. Good. We're going to switch sides one more time. And this time what we're going to do is going to place our blocks underneath us. So I'm going to place one block like so and then the second block here in the centre, okay? And if you're at home, feel free to use cushions or pillows just to boost up the centre point. So from here, I'm going to open up as wide as I can and then just place your sit bones on the foam blocks. Okay, we're just gonna hold here. Good. And then whilst we're on the blocks, you're gonna bring that back foot up, okay? So you can bring the front foot in to bring that back foot up and then stretch out that front leg. Good. Perfect. And we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. So I'm just going to switch over, place my sit bones onto the front block, keep that front leg bent for a minute, bring that back leg up and stretch through. You'll really feel this stretch through the front of the hip flexor here and down into the thigh and the quad. Good. Again, try and keep a nice neutral spine throughout. Perfect. And we're going to switch sides one more time. So we're going to come over, we're going to put our sit bones on the blocks. And this time, keep a nice uh, neutral spine. We're going to actually try and take one of the blocks or cushions away. So from here, just lift one away and come down that bit deeper, okay? And hold. Good, and we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. So come round. And place your sit bones on the block. Set. And hold. Again, you don't need to be as low as I am. You can be a lot higher if you wish. And hold for around one minute on either side before taking the block away or a pillow or cushion away. So every time you do it, just hold for around a minute at each point because it has been proven that around 60 seconds is the optimum time for um, stretching improvements, okay? If you do want to just maintain flexibility, you can hold for 15 to 30 seconds, but if you want to improve flexibility, it must be longer than 30 seconds, okay? Perfect. Good. Okay, so this time we're going to come around and we're going to place the blocks either side of us, okay? Just another variation and way to get into the splits. So we're going to uh, bend the front knee and just really arch into this um, back leg, okay? So um, dip really low through that hip flexor here. And then from here with the weight onto the blocks on our hands, we're gonna to try to extend the front leg as much as we can, okay? So just extend to where you can feel uncomfortable, but it's not excruciating pain, okay? All the way right now is on my hands, okay? 
and I'm in control of how low I want to go. So I can stay here or I can go deeper and down into split, okay? But it's up, entirely up to you, you're in control. You can come up on those blocks, you can make the blocks higher if you wish, okay? Good. Even just sway, keep the movement, if that feels better to you, listen to your body. Good. And remember to hold for at least, at least a minute here. Perfect. And we're going to do that on the opposite side. So come round, I'm going to switch sides, taking control of those blocks. Good. So your hands support you and hold all the weight. Keep that front leg bent at first, really sink into that back leg. And then from here, we can extend as and when you feel ready, okay? If not, just stay here, really working deep into this stretch. And feel free to extend if you wish. Good. And right now, my hands have got all the weight, okay? And I can gradually give it back to my legs to feel the stretch into the forward splits. Like I said, remember, you can keep moving throughout the stretch if you wish. You often find in splits you're either more flexible one way or the other. So I know this side for me is a little easier than the opposite side. So don't be alarmed if one side is completely different, it feels completely different to the other. It's completely natural. Good. And come back up. Perfect. Okay, so. With those exercises, you can just keep going and going as many times as you feel you need to do them, okay? To get the mobility through your hips, through those hip flexors, it's really important you stretch the hip flexors and your hamstring for forward splits. You can do the first exercises for a lot longer. Um, you can come up higher on the blocks. You don't need to just need, use two. You can use as many as you wish and take it your own pace. Everyone's bodies are completely different, okay? So the last one we can do is to just slide down into four splits as deep as you can, all right? So you should be really warmed up by now and your hip flexors are at their most open. So what we can do is just stay, start here and just really stretch that left front leg forward and then from there, take the back leg out, okay? and you go down as deep as you can. Feel free to move, like I said, into the stretch. Good. And then we're gonna do that on the opposite side. Good. Also, I just wanted to give you one last tip on how to improve your flexibility in all three splits, in all three directions, and also a little exercise that I do just to really open up through the hip flexors and through the pelvis which is an exercise like this. So you start on one side, and then from there you just roll through box, and then up onto the other side. Okay, through box, up, through, and up. Okay, it's a really hard move to do, and you're not gonna be able to do it until you've got a bit more flexibility, but it is one to really consider trying if you can do the splits or if you can just do one of the splits just to roll through and then up okay 
as I found that really helpful when I was doing my splits training. So I hope these exercises for four splits have helped you. Again, I can give you all the tips in the world, but it's up to you guys to put it into action to make it work, okay? I recommend doing these stretches at least two or three times a week to start off with if you're really serious about achieving your splits and progress up to every single day or at least every other day, okay? But keep me posted on your progress and I hope you find this video useful and I'll catch you next week for another video on Clovery's Academy. I'll see you then. Bye guys, keep stretching.